Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Up Come Sports back with the Montreal Vortex Super Realistic Rebuild Part 3 of this series. Here are the objectives for the Vortex in this episode. And if you guys have not seen the previous parts, make sure to click the link in the description. It'll take you right to the playlist. But here in the draft lottery, we do have our first round pick. So we will see what we do with that. Hopefully upgrade the bench. With our first round pick, we're going to select Byron Warren, a really athletic shooter out of Georgia Tech. 6'7", small forward, 206. Hopefully he can come off the bench for us, but he will be probably in the G League for the first season. This is the roster, if you guys have forgotten. Andre Drummond, our best player. Brandon Clark, Lugan Stort, Mark Hill Foles, BJ Boston, Cam Fletcher. Our bench is actually getting pretty good. I did forget who we had, but it is pretty solid. We've got a lot of shooters and a lot of big men who can shoot as well. So it's a well-rounded team. Our starting lineup is starting to become fire, but we still need our guys to step up. We haven't done much in the playoffs at all, so I mean, we are going to send Byron Warren to the G League, as I said, and we will keep the same coach and the same system. So it appears that we have three All-Stars on the team, Markel Fultz, Lugans Dort, and also Brandon Clark, which is kind of surprising, but I will take it. At the trade deadline, checking out how we're doing with three All-Stars on the team, we are currently the number one seed winning over 40 games at the deadline that is pretty impressive but hopefully no injuries catch up to us and we can keep it up so the greek freak is going to win his 147th mvp in a row and we don't know the rookies by now trey young six man on the blazers this league has gone to complete garbage but we did get coach of the year so we probably got the number one seed, Mark Hilfold, so all NBA first team. When I traded for him, I did not expect him to even make an all NBA team, let alone the first team. Lou Dort also on the all NBA teams. What a year for our team. Brandon Clark also on the all NBA third team. What a team right here we've got. But we're probably going to end up losing in the first round, as it usually happens. Brandon Clark and Lou Dort also on defensive teams. This team is insane right here. But as I said, we're probably going to be a first round exit, getting the number one seed. And I mean, this team is so good, especially defensively. We're playing the Pacers, who have Kevin Durant. So it should be a pretty tough matchup. James Wiseman at the four as well. But checking out the player stats, everyone did good. It was just an amazing season for us all around. Checking out the team stats on offense, we were top 10, defensively, number one. First round of the playoffs here with one of the best teams I've ever assembled. And we lose game one, of course. I told you we're probably going to lose this series or we're probably going to lose in the second round. Just how 2K works, but we are up 2-1, two 2-2 to one. Two to two now. Can we go up? And we do. Are we going to close it out in six? And we do. But we're probably going to lose to the Magic up next. I don't think we're going to win it all until maybe next season. But checking out the stats. Oladipo had a pretty good game. Lou Dort with a really nice game, actually. Shot very efficiently. Fultz, another really good game from him. Everyone else doing pretty good as well. We are playing the Orlando Magic. But let's see if we can pull it off and upset 2K's sim algorithm. And 1-1. One, one. Can we go up 2-1? We go down 2-1. We're probably going to go down 3-1 here. And we do. And we lose in 5 games. How? I don't know. But Lou Dort, 21 points. Not the best game from everybody else. But, I mean, who do they have on this team? It's really not that great of a team. They've got Cam Reddish, but... We didn't make that trade with the Magic at the start of the video. They also have Goga. So it is going to be a Nuggets Bulls Finals. And we'll see who wins. The Nuggets don't have Jokic. Or maybe they got him back. I don't know. This league is completely broken. Zach Levine wins Finals MVP. So here in the draft lottery, we don't have our first round pick. The Magic have it from that trade we did with them for Drummond. So that's kind of disappointing. So this is the team. I think we're going to make a run this year. 
usually with 2K, we become the number one seed. We lose in the first two rounds, and then the next season, we go on a deep run. So if that holds up, we should be in for a pretty big run right here. The team is looking saucy as heck. And we've got three All-NBA players on the team. So Drummond is no sleeper either. He can play defense. Our interior defense is insane with Drummond and Brandon Clark. So, I mean, who's going to beat us? I don't know. Same system, same coach. This time, we only have two All-Stars on the All-Star teams. But it is Brandon Clark and Lou Dort. No Markel Fultz, but he's been pretty solid. And at the trade deadline, checking out how we're doing. Again, we are the number one seed, and we've gotten better. Still winning 40 games at the deadline. I mean, what else can we do? This team is just insane. We just got to prove it in the playoffs. Oh, what do you know? Giannis wins another MVP, his 158th consecutive one, and another Defensive Player of the Year. We get Coach of the Year again. But Lou Dort this time on the All-NBA First Team, replacing Markel Fultz there. He had a really, really nice season for us, averaging some good numbers. No Brandon Clark. Actually, there he is on the third team. He has been our most consistent player throughout. Also on the defensive team. Lou Dort also on the defensive second team. So, I mean, what else can we do? Number one seed again. Won even more games than last season. This is our time to shine, boys. And we are playing the Cavs in the first round. I mean, they're nothing special. We should be able to take care of them pretty easily. Lou Dort, we saw his stats. He's a little bit injured, but he should be good to go. Everyone else with some pretty good stats all around. Checking out our offensive stats. Number two and defensively top 10. Here we go, boys. Our championship run starts right here in the first round against the Cavs. Game one, we win. We should be able to sweep this series 2-0 now. 3-0, can we get the sweep on the Cavs? And we do, no problems there. And it looks like they had a pretty good team, but nothing special, as I said. Mark Elfold with a really nice scoring night. Also got seven assists and two steals. And in the second round, we're playing the Jokic and Giannis led Bucks. And Giannis has won, as I said, 200 MVPs in a row. So it's going to be tough. We are up 2-0, though. Can we get another sweep? No, we cannot. 2-1 to one the series. 3-1, we're up. Can we win in five games? Bucks take another game. Please don't go to a game seven. And we do win in six games. Giannis being a monster. Jokic also still on this team, but they don't really have anything outside of that. And Lou Dort, BJ Boston with some nice scoring nights. In the Eastern Conference Finals, we're playing the Chicago Bulls. They've beat us before in the playoffs, so we got to get some redemption here. We were up 2-0 on them. They win game three, 2-1. Can we win one in Chicago? No, we split the series 2-2. And Zach Levine with a really, really good scoring night. Almost got 50. But this game is really important right here. This one could turn the series in someone's favor. We are at home and we do win. So Mark Helfold is showing up in that one. Zach Levine is on a tear. Got 37 right there. And we do win in six games. So no problems right there. Zach Levine was insane for this series. Don't know what got into him. Lou Dort though showing up as our best player. So we are playing the San Antonio Spurs. I don't know how they got Anthony Davis, but they did. As I said, this league has just been completely dismantled. And they've got DeJounte Murray, Kevin Knox. Not really the best finals team ever. So here in the NBA Finals, after eight seasons, can we win a championship? I think that would be a record. But we do win game one. Lou Dort with a good scoring night right there. But no one really blew off like that. And Anthony Davis, we know he's going to get his buckets. If we can shut down everyone else, though, we will take it. And we do win game two. Markel Fultz with 21. Anthony Davis, again, getting his buckets a double-double. Doesn't really matter because we're winning. We are up 3-0 now. As I said, Anthony Davis still getting buckets, but he's not getting help at all. And Markel Fultz stepping up in this one. 10 assists from him. So we'll see if we can close it out. If we get the sweep, that would be amazing. 
I will hop in if we're winning, and we are. So we are in the game, boys. Anthony Davis trying to get a bucket, and he misses. Markel Fultz with the ball. Let's get it to Lou Dort. Trying to get a crossover here. Going inside. He's too small, and we missed it. But are they going to get a bucket? Oh, why are we not guarding inside? And they get a dunk. Uh, why did we miss that? Why did we even take that shot? Oh, good little crossover. Get that out of here, bro. Get that out of here. Who was that? Brandon Clark? Markel Fultz. Pull up, Jay. Oh, that's green. Markel Fultz. All right, who wants to get a bucket? Who wants to get a bucket here? Pick and roll here. Mo Bogner, you want a bucket? Green light, baby. Okay, let's give me another pick. BJ Boston. Mid oh, wow. That's a quick release. Put it in, though. Brandon Clark running our point guard now. Get it to... Is that Dort? Yep, that's Dort. Brandon Clark inside for the dunk. Oh, let's get this. The ultimate dagger, and he missed it. But that doesn't matter because the Montreal Vortex are going to win the NBA championship in just eight seasons after being inserted into the NBA. That is pretty cool right there. But Markel Fultz, no one expected this. Not even me when I traded for him. No one expected him for, for him to be this good. But he is going to lead us to a championship. So in this game, Anthony Davis with another double-double. He is a double-double machine. Kevin Knox, 25 points, just didn't have enough help on this team. Markel Fultz dropping 30 in this game, shot very efficiently. Markel Fultz just went off. And Markel Fultz is going to win the finals MVP at an 88 overall. Average three steals a game. I don't know what got into Markel Fultz finally unleashing his number one overall pick potential. So that is going to do it for this rebuild. I thought it was a really good rebuild, but we won a championship as an expansion team. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on the road to 300 subscribers.